Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to another video of some F1 2022. F1 22 game news. Today, I'm going to take a look at a lot of other stuff that I didn't include in the video that was uploaded on Thursday. So, uh, make sure you go and um, check that video out if you haven't seen it already, although a lot of you have. So, thank you for all the support on that. Um, since then, we've got um, the cars although we saw them on that video on Thursday uh, you'll see a rolling screen sh a slideshow excuse me of all the cars I think that some of them the number like the Mercedes um, when it flashes through like the Williams as well the Haas some of the numbers aren't quite right I don't think and they've got this sort of shark fin thing going on as well um, on some of them um, as well so obviously these are not the final cars we will never see hopefully well hope I say hopefully fingers crossed we will never see uh, these del these deliveries on this car but this is the FOM car um, that it's been put on it's got a very it's got a very wide nose as we saw in the last in the uh, previous episode as well um, but yes, obviously we haven't had the full cars yet come out. Those will be coming um, presumably soon because, you know, the game is coming out uh, in two months' time almost. Two months, um, a week almost. But yes, let's move to back to F1 Life. I'll leave a link, by the way, to all of the stuff that I've looked at, including the where you can go and have a look at screenshots, as the cars for yourself and stuff all of the links will be in the description below by the way um but yes let's talk firstly about f1 life now i don't i'm, I'm not I don't, i'm not a fan of this to be honest um it's not my cup of tea but there we go it's probably there um one thing you'll be able to do now we previously reported in way back that you'd be able to drive these um supercars in online and multiplayer that seems to have been scaled back and i'll come back to that why that has been um later in the video but there is a new pirelli hot laps mode which is sort which i th i must admit i didn't know what pirelli hot laps was um until i looked it up um i thought it was just going to be a new name for time trial maybe pirelli you know i mean with the Salesforce drive of the day and whatever it is now. Um, for example, you know, F1 is going sponsor mad on all the little titles. The DHL fastest pit stop, for example. The Crypto.com um, cryptocurrency madness um, overtake award, etc, etc. But no, it is just literally um, the Pirelli hot laps, um, basically... Um, this is that one where a driver will take some poor soul um, or some, rather some lucky person um, around a lap um, at a very high speed. This is the dri this is the driving driving one. It's the only time I've ever seen anything like this uh, with Lando Norris. But yes, so basically I don't know what that's going to be there. Um, as well we've also got adaptive ai i'll come back to that we've got new and updated circuits mm -hmm. updated obviously oh, i mean i'll come back to what that could mean as well we've got a new we've got a reworked tire model and new aero which is interesting because only on f1 2021 did they release a new aero model um they reworked the error model for F1 2021 and they also introduced a new tyre model on F1 2021. Now it looks like they've redone that. Now whether or not the new, both of those tyre models and the aero model is based off the 2021 model, we don't know. We'll have to wait and see for that. Only We, we, we won't know about the error model until we, the game comes out, actually, um, and we check the uh, with PC mods, hope, and hopefully they, it is um, open for modding. Um, then we can uh, got some game exp get, get down to some game experiments. So, yes, um, obviously, um, there was a... 
you, you might remember when I wrote and announced Apple Manager 2022, um, and I lead I le again. I left a link to that video in the previous video. There, I also talked about the supercars from F1 Life because I had been leaked by an EA source, and there was a follow-up article. Uh, which says, however, sources familiar with the project have since then supercars will no longer feature any sort of multiplayer games by aspect. Um, while supercars will still be present, they'll only be available in time trial and during the career playthrough, which means it's probably going to be like those classic cars invitational events again. Maybe we'll get some rich bloke come back because that rich bloke only only uh, turned up in F1 2017 has not been seen in any game since as well hopefully we get a few more cutscenes because um, to be honest F1 2021 career mode there weren't any cutscenes the reason provided for this late change is FOM um, requested that the supercars inclusion be scaled back it is unclear if FOM made the decision following my uh, the original uh, report, which I reported, which I included in that original video, with many in the vibrant and very vocal F1 community expressing their displeasure and criticising the move online. Um, as well, I mean, this is really a big EA marketing exercise um, to try and generate more money. And I advise that you might give. I'm not saying that you don't give it one life a go. It's just that do not spend any money whatsoever. That is, I think, needs to be made clear. Um, let's move on away from F1 life and supercars, which is really an F1, uh, to adaptive AI. This is apparently to keep less experienced players competitive throughout each race with opposing AI races tailored to match the skill level. Um, accessible menus and handling also return to help players get to the action quickly without the need to understand the complexity of the sport. Hopefully they've changed the menus because trying to join the lobby online, um, yes, we don't, yes, although they got those beginner friendly lobbies, but they are just, it's just a nightmare with those beginner friendly models and all the ghosting that goes on as well. Um, so yes, this, this, this is a little bit interesting. I'm 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 interested to see how this new AI AI model works. Whether it's tailored to your driving style, which I'm not against um, actually, because you know if you've watched my driver career mode series, um, you will know that I have a tailored driving style that I suit certain races. I'm hoping we get some of the AI. What we'd like in the future, and I say I don't think this will be it, but the AI may be having a bit of more realistic characteristics so they do well at certain uh, tracks that suit them. Um, because, you know, I have certain tracks that suit me. I only do well at these certain tracks. Maybe having a look at the historical record game. Again, the drivers can help tune, fine tune their AI in the future. But that's for, that's one for the that's one for the future. Whether or not the AI will be able to adapt themselves, be able to be competitive, I mean, there have been issues. And I've got another video coming about what I hate about F1 2021 that needs to be fixed in F1 22. Um, that video is coming. But basically, um, obviously, that one of the big things is the AI goes supersonic speed through fast corners. Hopefully, with this new adapted AI model, that means that they are no longer going supersonic speeds, and they we can actually race them a bit more, and you know, fine tune um, the AI level. Uh, the practice programs have been refreshed, offer more re variety with a new scoring system and on-track visualization. This helps players navigate each twist and turn to perfect to perfection before racing those important championship points. So. It's good because the practice programs, and although we got quick practice, which has been good, although the, I do have a criticism about quick practice because if you drive a 25% career mode, you have the same timings because although you've got less time for practice, you get half an hour instead of the hourly session uh, if you're a 50% race career mode. Um, the the each of the um, 
practice program takes the same time if you were as if you were doing um, a 50% um, practice basically if that makes sense um, as well so I'm interested to see what practice programs are available I've always said that the uh, track climatization program should just be available as a guide and shouldn't give any R&D points but should be available to get people uh, you know to, to try and find you in the setup every Every, every each weekend as well and then obviously you look at the other practice programs but we'll have to wait and see what um, those, those um, bring up now Lee Mather says the handling is more true to life um, we'll be the judge of that Lee because you know um, uh, he, yeah, he's say, he has the same lines every year um, Mr Lee Mather so take I always take his words with a pinch of salt I'm not going to lie um, because again at the end of the day his job is to try and sell as many copies of the game as possible and not try and provide and what actually is actually happening um, as well my team of course is coming back drive career mode of course is also staying and there's also the two player career mode version as well there isn't a my team um, a, a two player my team so that's one for the future but Obviously, um, this time you get to select your own starting budget with newcomer, challenger, and front runner. I might do a little game experiment on the new game where we see how quickly you can win the title with a front runner budget as well. Um, we would assume that if you are up for a challenge and want to progress over several seasons, uh, selecting a newcomer budget will see you kick off with a has size budget, and hopefully this means that you have the worst car on the grid as well, um, because that has never actually you in pre in both F1 2020 and F1 2021, um, you didn't the car that you the original base car that you had was third worst on the grid. At the, back, at the worst, at the at the worst it could be, it was never the worst car on the grid um, in terms of those performance, unless you applied mods um, to it. So even so, yes, that's what we want to see. We want to be able to be the worst team, absolute worst team on the grid. Um, maybe I don't. I'm not. I'm not saying we need to be. Maybe like be on the left where we were, a little bit better than where. We're, where our has were last year because we don't want to be completely off the pace otherwise people doing that, that I mean it's that's going to be multiple seasons but not too far off where has were last year um, and then obviously try and build from there as well new quack um, the actual practice programs have all been um, updated as I've already mentioned now there's also this from this steam page um, as well um, and I'm going to, uh, excuse me, draw your attention to the My Team bullet point because all the other stuff I've covered. Uh, choose your starting budget to you create your F1 team from the ground up with expanded department events and deeper livery customization. Now, I'll start with expanded department events. This is some. This is good news because the department events were boring. The dilemmas that came up weren't great um, as well they just really a select an option and then half the time you couldn't actually select that option so they weren't really that great to be honest um, I think a lot of people just turned them off because they were pretty dull um, in the end so hopefully we can get a little bit more expansion from that it means that it affects the career mode a lot more because obviously with a claim, maybe resources, maybe affect the R&D departments, etc, etc. And not just be, oh, this happened, oh, it's just a screen, nothing. Maybe you get a little bit of a claim decrease, but not a lot for F1 2021. Deep delivery customization. Now, people have, ex this does not say livery editor. I must, I must, um. Uh, paraphrase that basically um, deeper livery customization could mean could mean just a bit more changing the colors um, options 
that yet to be expanded upon we'll have to wait and see maybe change the color number or maybe put sponsors on your helmet that could be it or it could be um what some people are speculating with f1 mobile gaming because they have they've already they've had for the entire time a custom livery editor where you can put your entire decal whatever whatever you want on that on your car design basically design your own car in that game and i'm not saying we're going to get that we'll have to wait we'll have to wait and see what that comes out but obviously ea don't that's not a cut that's not that the game is made separate to the F1 game because it's in a it's um in partnership with another developer um as well altered race day presentation i touched about the broadcast uh, i think in the previous episode but there's basically um emerges and broadcasts now broadcast i've got a little bit more details on that now broadcast allows a play to main a passive through these incidents through some new cinematics so basically you watch the um you watch basically you're in the uh watch as um the cars go around for the safety car it's basically to not get people bored while having to wall the tires while immersive adds a little bit more difficulty and the caveat to potential gains um now they th th this traction i think it's the traction gg one um say that pro career it's similar to pro career that locks you into one camera angle i don't think this is i think this is basically you drive through the safety car and obviously you have to warm up your own tires as opposed to the compute the computer to do it for you um which is what they do speculate here um obviously um again all of this looks like it's going to be with the assists as well um and I, i'm expecting those um assist options to be sort of expanded um as well potentially we'll have to wait and see um for that but base that's what i think that's going to happen um with safety cars it doesn't sound like red flags are going to be in the f1 2022 sorry f122 game i'm going to keep saying that by the way um, until i stop saying it um but there are red flags in f1 manager 22 so we'll have to that game we'll have to look forward to formula 2 it's going it's going to be late again um hopefully it's gonna uh, the, the problem with i've had with formula 2 in the f1 game is that it's been severely delayed um for years for years um what, what i mean that is it always the past couple of years it's always coming around about december i mean it's christmas by the time we get actually get the new cars i'm wanting now the game is coming out the twenty well first of July, but really it's the twenty eighth of June when the game comes out uh, for the champions mode, which we still don't exactly know what that's going to contain. But basically, um, what I want to see is F, the new F Formula Two uh, stuff come out at the very latest, the start of September, not Christmas, because Christmas the season's over and no, no one cares. I want to see it come out before that. I know that it's not really played enough because it doesn't affect the career mode. The drivers themselves don't come in as free agents, which is a shame because that's what we want them to. What really they should be happening is that the driver should, at the very least, those drivers should then be added to the career mode as free agents. If you're going to spend the time face scanning them all in for the new people that are there, like Dennis Halger and so on, then the very least excuse me they should all be uh progress be able to then progress through um as well uh we've got updated now i talked about our data layouts earlier australia spain and abu dhabi have finally all been updated i mean it's about time really um we, we already knew about australia because uh, the australian grand prix permission tweeted about this a long time ago um as well that they've been working with code masters to try and get this done spain was a format i mean they should have really done spain last year because it changed one corner 
it's not like they've changed the entire circuit really like Australia and Abu Dhabi really we didn't see the changes until late so I understand that um, really um, but yes hopefully we can get that, that lot I'm going to draw your attention to um, this um, excuse me this disclaimer thing which is the final thing I got to do um, obviously um, there's a lot of stuff about um, a lot of dribble in here but one of the things says updates required to access the final F1 team's 22 cars so hopefully um, that's just purely for people who are pre-ordering now um, the, the game and the game obviously then updates and the cars will be ready by the 28th of June certain circuits um, certain circuits is got people interested here um, obviously we know content is just updates and then the season update but certain circuits has got people interested maybe thinking that you know we might see an updated version of Spa or Austria or those tracks that haven't been updated for years I mean, I'm, I, mean I, don't, I don't think Austria actually has ever been updated since F1 2014 so you know I mean the, the, the tracks changed in the eight years technology has changed in the eight years that, that's been since 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 then it's about time that we had these tracks all updated and hopefully EA will be providing those additional resources so that we can finally get those new versions of the, the, the cars so yes that's where I'm going to leave it today if you haven't enjoyed then leave a like subscribe to the channel and you see plenty more F122 game news as soon as it comes out I'll make a video um, I'm sure there's going to be new stuff launched every week because of course previously Codemasters of the Light have liked a three month window to launch and promote the game we've only got a two month window this year so you know we're going to get twice as much content as well as well i'll also um find some stuff on f1 manager 22 as well shortly and I'll make a video on that should should there be extra stuff as well so yes until the next video then i'll see you next time take care thanks so much for watching enjoy your day and goodbye